When you're nearly seven feet tall, you're pretty tough to miss in a crowd. But unless you're really good at recognizing piercing blue eyes, you'd be hard pressed to recognize this famous Wookiee at the supermarket. He's a gentle giant and he's joined by the considerably smaller but no less talented co-star from the upcoming series, The Acolyte. Give it up for Jonas Swotomo and Dean Charles Chapman! Wonderful. Thank you both so much for being here with us today. How excited are you to be at Star Wars Celebration? It's an Super amazing excited. experience. So excited. What's up? <laughs> now, Dean, Jonas is no stranger to Star Wars, as just exemplified by that wonderful street look. Has you asked him for any pointers? Any pointers? Not necessarily. I guess I just have to look over at this guy on set and seeing him in the full Wookiee outfit. It's kind of, um, it's kind of a dream come true, to be completely honest. Yeah. Can you corroborate that? Did you give him any pointers? Maybe he's not remembering them. Well, I'll t I told Dean, do as I do, not what I say. And, uh, and that went, he went far with that. Fair, fair. And now both of you, I'm told, get to handle some lightsabers in the Acolyte. <laughs> As someone who's always dreamed of swinging a lightsaber, what's it like to finally be doing it in a Star Wars show? I got this one. It's like... Yeah. It's pretty good. Perfect, no notes. I, I will say that I was really surprised on how heavy they are. I mean, I'm not sure like these wicked ones out here, I'm not sure how heavy they are, but the ones that we had are surprisingly like, you know, quite weighty. Would you like to borrow one? I'm sure we can get you one from the crowd here. No, I'm good. I wouldn't want to uh, spoil it. Okay. They'll never get it back, so he's... Yeah, uh... I'll nick it. There. Now, Jonas, as a Jedi this time around, I'm just going to keep talking about it, because I'm just so excited for you. I'm excited to see you as a Wookiee Jedi. A Wookiee Jedi? A Wookiee Jedi! Did you just say a Wookiee Jedi? <laughs> it's so... It's unbelievable. Uh, uh, the, the concept of this character coming in, it, it fascinated me, and I knew that people were going to be excited when they, when they heard about this whole show, and then when they hear about this character, I just knew that there was something uh, special brewing here. And uh, yeah, Kelnaka is a Wookiee Jedi, and uh, and he's uh, and I can't wait to uh, for you guys to see how I because uh, I wanted it to be different from uh, from Chewbacca, and uh, and so coming up with ways to differentiate between those two characters was an interesting challenge, and uh, that's what I tried to do, and I hope that uh, I did a good, okay job. Definitely did. Yeah. Now, behind the scenes, how has your training changed to become a Wookiee Jedi? I'm just going to keep saying those words together because I'm very excited. <laughs> well, luckily, we had the uh, uh, same stunt team as we had in Solo. So it was a familiar crew, and uh, we had some awesome training partners uh, with Dean and everybody else. And uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it was just fun uh, getting to learn this, these uh, uh, things that we needed to learn, and uh, I, I really wanted to learn because uh, I was playing uh, this video game about samurais, 
and uh, I really wanted to try those moves in, in, the, uh, in the Sabre arena, so I had some fun uh, doing training, yeah. Ghost of Tsushima was the game. Got some fans, got some fans here. I was using a lot of uh, wind stance, and also a stone stance, but uh, yeah, that's too, too, I went too far with that one, yeah. Can we see that one? <laughs> no, no, passing on that. Oh, wait, what was that? Can we see that? Stone stance. Stone stance. Stone stance. I, I forget how stone. stone. Yeah, that's done. If we'd known you were going to do that, we could have moved the table. Could have just given you the whole room, whole ring. Yeah, we'll have a panel about that tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> about the stances. <laughs> now, everyone here, I think, to a person, is a Star Wars fan. Yeah, yeah. Safe assumption in this crowd. What has your connection to Star Wars been growing up, and what's it like to be a part of it now? I actually played the video games before I watched the movies. Um, I was about seven and I was playing a Star Wars Lego game, which I was, a, yeah. I was obsessed with, uh, with the video games. And then I remember I was at home one day and I was like, what should I watch? Lord of the Rings, Star Wars? Star Wars. Loved it. And um, just to be a part of Star Wars, and we've talked about the lightsabers and stuff, but it, it, it really is a dream come true. And working with people like Jonas as well, it couldn't be better. Yeah, for me, I remember on VHS when I was young, I was watching the Moss Eisley Streets, and there was Chewbacca, and there was uh, Luke Skywalker drinking blue milk. I thought it was blue oatmeal when I was, because I ate a lot of oatmeal as a kid, uh, so I thought the Luke would similar. Um, <laughs> so, but it was just, it was, it permeated my life because my dad was a huge Star Wars and Indiana Jones fan, and uh, and it just, it was just always there, and it was. It was uh, so real, uh, uh, close to our world, but still there were spaceships and lightsabers and all these creatures that you didn't know. So that was the, uh, the magical touch that uh, really uh, drew me in. And I remember when I was in college, my freshman year, I Googled, I, I got my first computer, uh, my own computer, and I Googled who is inside the Chewbacca suit. And it was Peter Mayhew. And, uh, <laughs> One and only. And, I, and so that sort of that was a sort of a premonition of what was to come. And um, at ten years later, I, I was uh, I was myself, you know, <laughs> putting on the suit with Peter Mayhew, and it was just it's just been uh, a fantastic journey. And uh, and I, I'm really glad that this uh, new show, The Acolyte, we can show something. Uh, an original story with 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 this amazing cast and uh, with 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 Neil Scanlon's Creature Workshop, putting together uh, yet another palette of awesome creatures, and uh, we, we're just uh, so lucky to be here right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's so wonderful to see you continuing the Wookiee tradition that Peter Mayhew started and, and creating all new characters with it. Uh, is there anything that you both want to say to the fans out there? Is there anything else you'd like to say? I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. That was very safe and spoiler free. That was a little too to safe, safe, sir. Can't say too much. I just wanted to uh, ask everyone, can I get a <laughs> And also, can I get a <laughs> And one more time, everybody, let's say it together. A Wookiee Jedi. A Wookiee Jedi! Thank you. Well, next time I see you both, I'm putting Dean on my shoulders and wearing a giant trench coat for the interview. Are we, are we down for this? We're going to do that? Definitely down. And we might be almost as tall as you, like just, just barely. Thank you so much for coming by. Lots more fun to come right here on Star Wars Celebration Live.
Be back in a moment.